we're going to do some screen sharing here and I'm going to, these are all um, screenshots that I took today, this morning, while I was going through the process and testing. Um, and so I was making some things up, but what registration for Holo means is that if you are a user of uh, a Holoport, like if you own a Holoport and you are a host, you have to register. If you are a customer of hosting, basically you're paying to get something hosted on that cloud, on our distributed cloud, um, and you're gonna be paying one of the hosts for that work, or multiple of the hosts actually, always, for that work, you register. If you're just a Holofuel user, you have to register. And what this means is that this gives you access to the application. Okay, so everybody registers at, at some level, and then there's other levels of identity verification depending on what you do. But this is just where you go. It's the registration screen. So you register to participate in the network, um, and then you fill out just a little tiny bit of information, quite honestly, and you do an email verification. Let's go to the next slide. So once you do that, you know, you get your little thank you, go check your email, you receive this email. And this email is still set up for our QA environment. That's where I was doing this testing today. Um, but basically, uh, you can see I was saying, hey, um, I'm registering for Holofuel and I get a link and I get a registration code. You take that and you're going to go to Holofuel and you're going to log in or sign up for the first time in the Holofuel application. So let's move to that one. Okay, great. So, whoa, what is on this screen? There's some interesting things here. The screen's actually in the midst of changing right now. We didn't have that pushed into the QA environment because we're still doing testing on the, the upgrade to V4 of Holochain. But notice there's this weird thing hanging up at the top of the screen. This is actually an extension that is in my browser. And this is the Holo Key Manager extension. I talked about this in a, one of the prior updates. And I'm going to walk through and show a couple of screenshots of this. I think we might have even done a blog on this or something recently. But I'm going to walk you through live right now. Well, not live. I'm going to walk you through the screenshots that I got earlier in the day. So let's go to the next one. So what really happens is that when you, before you can sign up and log in to Holo applications, if you're using the whole hosted versions of the applications. You can you need to install the Holo Key Manager. So you can see this is up on the Chrome Web Store in the extension space, and you add it to Chrome. Let's go to the next one because it asks you: Is this for your first time setup? Great. Right. Well, when you come in, once it's installed, it says setups required. So let's just move through this. You set up and you click that, and we'll move to the next one. And I put all of them here to make it nice and easy. And I'm gonna walk you through from left to right, top to bottom. So basically, you're gonna set a password. It's gonna remind you, hey, this stuff is important. You need to be very, very careful. You need to remember these passwords and these passphrases, and you need to save these keys and seeds somewhere. That's really important because if something changes, you do an upgrade, you get into a new browser, you're gonna to want to have this to be able to, to reset this. Um, so you're basically gonna set a password you're going to save some keys and seeds, some your seed and key files, and you're going to confirm or set and confirm a passphrase. I might not have this in the exact order. And then you generate your key files. So it's really important for me. Um, what I did is when I went through this process, as I started and created a password, I just went into my password manager that I use because that's a very good security me measure. Um, and I saved my password, I saved my passphrases, I saved my keys. Not everybody's willing to do that. Um, you might not want to do that if this is for your Holofuel account. You might choose to put them somewhere else that's safe. Some people like to leave them in a locked space, um, keep them offline. Everybody's different about this stuff. I'm in a test environment right now and I did it nice and easy so that I can just get back into my test environment. Let's go to the next slide. So then you, when you come back, you can use the key manager, you connect with it. And basically it's holding your login to the cloud console or to your whole fuel application. I was using both of them in my test earlier. And the first time through, you have to use the registration code that you received in the email. And you basically set up, hey, what is this? So that you can find it the next time because you might have multiple 
logins to multiple versions of the applications. Great, let's move on. That's the key manager. Once you've got that, you're, you're basically in the apps. Now, this isn't gonna be a walkthrough of the applications themselves, but I wanna say a few more things about registration and about where things happen. So once you're in the application, so say I, I'm in the cloud console and I'm a customer and I have to buy Holofuel in order to pay invoices to hosts. I put this little thing up here on the top left of this screen. This is just a tiny little piece of a, of a screen where there's a buy Holofuel button. When, when you buy Holofuel from a reserve account, and if you remember, reserve accounts are where we basically uh, allow people to do their Holofuel swaps hot to Holofuel swap, but it's also where people who are customers come to purchase Holofuel. Now, right now, the only way to purchase is with hot. So they have to go get hot and then they can use hot to buy Holofuel. So that's how this works. When you click that, what it does is it opens up Springboard. Now, a lot of you may not have heard about Springboard yet. Springboard basically is the place where you can see, okay, I have Holofuel accounts. I have host console accounts. I'm also a customer. Because the reality is, is people can be all of those things. You can have all different types of Holo accounts because you might, one, be a host and have a Holo port. You might also have an app if you're somebody who builds applications and wants to host them. And you also might just have other personal Holofuel accounts unrelated to those things. So one of the things we built was this thing called Springboard, which you can log into by going to Springboard, or if you try to register a second time and it asks you, hey, have you done this before? Then all of it does all it does is it takes you directly, it sends you a link to basically log into Springboard via link. So let's go to the next screen and I'm gonna show you Springboard. The reason we did this is in one way, there's some information here. We know that people who are going to be hosts and people who are going to um, interact with Holo using the reserve account, but it, you will need to have level two verification. That is KYC verification. So Springboard is a place, one of the places from which you can do that. You can see there's a complete level two verification. That's one of those integrations that we have built um, to do it because we're not doing it ourselves. We're using a third party KYC provider like most everybody does. Um, but the big thing here also is, like I said, you can be a host, you can be a hat manager, and you can be a Holofuel user. So you might have multiple accounts and it makes it much easier. You can just register another account if you need one directly from here. Say you have two or three Holoports as a host and you register and you need to register another one. Uh, I'm not sure if that particular use case works perfectly here, but just gonna say this is essentially where you do to add accounts. You'll also see grayed out up here is the buy Holofuel button itself. And the reason that's like so light, because um, it actually is green, is because as a user, there's no ver level two verification. So you can't do it until you have level two verification. So let's move on to the next one, I think, or that might be the last one. I'm not sure. Let's uh, finish up with the screen sharing if that's the case. Um, yeah, great. So essentially, what I wanted to do was give people a little bit of a view before I got into some of the questions about some of the apps and some of the tools that people are gonna be using at launch. And so I think it's important to start socializing the names of these things. What is, you know, I think probably a lot of people have never heard about Springboard, this place where you can see all of these things together. Um, or you might not have known that in order to log into hosted applications, you'll at least Holo's hosted applications, you'll need to use the key manager. So these are some of the things we are starting to tell people about, starting to show people, starting to test with some alpha users, that sort of thing.